Privyet, what's up, yo? Um, I just finished watching a uh, Russian war film. Surprise! It was um, Old Men Go to War. Old Men Go to War? I think that's what it was called. And um, it was a World War II film. Uh, filmed in early 70s, black and white. It's been restored to color. I watched the black and white version. I kind of prefer black and white. And um, once again, what a great war film. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what was going on in the Soviet Union in the 70s and 60s and 50s, but you guys are cranking out some just some great war films, some great war films here. And here's, here's what I like the most about the film. Right, This is what I'm going to like the most about the film is we, we, we did something kind of unique, right? And it was very easy to follow along for me. Because if you guys remember in uh, the film, The Dawn's Here Always Quiet, we, we started doing some different things, breaking off of the main story and showing these girls in various, you know, situations. And I was confused by, like, if this is a World War II film, why are we showing this woman next to a motorcycle that looks like it's from the 70s, Right. And you guys were kind of explaining to me, that, you know, the, the dream sequences and whatnot. This one was easy to follow. And I thought it was done brilliantly. I don't, I don't know who made this film, but this, this film was, like, really good. I mean, this film was, like, super good. Like, like I, was, I was thoroughly impressed by it. And what we saw here is we saw the one, the one aspect of their life being the war, Right how they were fighting the war, how the war was going, the effects of the war on their souls. Then we saw the other one. We saw the, uh, the love of music. We saw the humanity. In this, and I think that this is a great film because I think in the West a lot of times it's easy to look at the Russians as, as mindless, soulless robots, especially in the Soviet period. Russia today is completely different, dude, right? It get off on a side note it it used to be like if you were to like late 70s early 80s if you if you put up a picture of a russian and a picture of american you would say oh hey look the american looks really cool and stylish and fashionable and this russian person looks really weird i think it's completely switched today like it's like russia has really just kind of and i think in certain aspects have caught the americans and have replaced the americans in certain aspects of it um and so, you know, that's not quite the case today. And I wanted to differentiate on that point. Um, but in this time period, it, it was very easy to think of Russia as, you know, mindless communist drones who, who can't think for themselves, who can't, you know, who have no humanity. All the feelings and life and soul and everything has been taken out of the individual. And... Um, what you have happened here is is this pursuit of music, the conductor, the getting the people together to play music and practice music and live music, um, really brought a nice touch of humanity. And I think this is was a really nice piece to see not only the sacrifice that Russia made in World War II, again, you know, a huge sacrifice that we don't really ever talk about here in America, but the humanity of the Russians. It wasn't just this this faceless sacrifice of a twenty seven million plus. There was a a piece of character with them, a piece of humanity, a piece of of this music that was being expressed in the film. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I, I would say that this may be a must see if you're going to teach people about Russian films. That you should probably see this film. That this is really a kind of an important film. I think. In, in understanding the Russian soul, understanding the Russian mindset. And, um, and, and I have to tell you, uh, with my interactions with the Russians, the collective is still there. And it is, at times it is odd to me, because in America we don't have the collective, we have the individual. And, and, uh, and sometimes uh, in our culture, uh, Americans, are, I think, are pretty open to talk to, uh, but we're private people. We're, we're extremely private people. We don't really share a lot of out of our, you know, life, it's it's unusual for what I am doing. Uh, the amount of access and, and discussion that I have about myself for an American is very it's it's not it's not typical. And so I I, uh, I you know I share that with my Russian friends, and uh, you know, and I thank you for your friendship. I thank you for the collective and kind of welcome me into that. I really do. 
and and I hope you guys have a good uh, a good day. Um, I have up right now on the website the greatest internet radio station ever. It's called DarkSkyRadio.com. You can go there. Um, it works really good on computers. I, I you know I'm doing all my own stuff. Uh, so on the phone sometimes you have to um, tap it. You have to tap the the player to get it going, and it'll pop up another box for Podomatic, and you can kind of listen that way. So my apologies. I'm trying to work it out. But on there anyways, what I wanted to point out there is, um, but we got a lot of music uh, up there. We got a lot of shows up there. If you enjoy me, you're going to enjoy the programming there. And, but I have RT News, uh, the American version that's up there, and uh, some good stuff going on. So you can check those two things out on the website. So please... You know, go hit the website, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We're getting really close to passing the Bali Fools, and uh, I'm excited about that, and I, I hope you are too because you're a big part of it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.